going on everybody appreciate y'all for tuning back in and today we're going to be reviewing in my honest opinion a slept on shoot in the city community that's also making some big moves in the city community the crossover culture Started jumping, what a day. So if some of you guys are new here, this is my second time reviewing a crossover culture shoe. The first one I did was the sniper, and I'm not gonna ruin it for you guys. So if some of you guys want to go ahead and watch that review, click the annotation above me. But it was a very solid shoe, and I'm expecting the same exact thing for this shoe. And I don't know if I'm late crossover culture, but I did see that you guys are on Dick Sporting Goods, which is a very, very big accomplishment, at least in my honest opinion, because you guys not only went from your own website and app to being on another website and app. So if some of you guys are interested and like what you hear about crossover culture, I will leave links down below to cop this shoe from the official website. Website. Starting us off, I talk about the sizing and the price. And the sizing, I can recommend that you guys go up half a size. Now, I normally always go true to size in my basketball shoes just to give you guys my honest opinion of what sizing you guys should go. My toe was close to the toe box. It wasn't hitting it or causing any pain or discomfort. I just wanted to let you guys know, I think it's best to go up half a size just to have that little bit of extra toe space. Also, wide footers, I would tell you guys go up half a size as well. Now, like I mentioned before, you guys can go your true to size because there is no uncomfortability in the toe box or anything like that. But me personally, depending on the shoe, I like to go up half a size just to have that little bit of toe space and also when you guys do go up half a size there isn't going to be any heel slippage so you're going to be just fine pricing for the shoe is going to be 109 dollars which is a very solid price moving on to the style i'm going to go ahead and give these a 7.5 out of 10. you guys can already tell my favorite part of the colorway is going to be on that mid so it looks really good it's inviting it's eye-catching it'll have people asking what type of shoes it is and stuff like that so i really like this creativity of the colorway now my least favorite part about the colorway is, the, is these two pastel colors here not saying it's bad for everybody but for me it just kind of throws me off about the shoe i think it would have resonated with me a little bit more these are two different colors it's not an ugly colorway or anything like that it's just these two colors just kind of throw it off for me and the materials on the shoe i like but it does have a con for me but i'm gonna tell you guys what i like about it first the mesh upper is going to provide you guys that flexible protection that a lot of us need and also these dual side straps here are going to be going to give you guys that extra bit of lockdown but the one thing that i don't like about the mesh upper material or this woven material is that it is going to attract that dirt but it's going to lock it in if you guys were to play in this shoe it would attract that dust and that dirt and it would lock it into the shoe to where it would start to become brown and I, overall like i said i think it's a decent colorway up next we have my favorite category which is the cushion and i'm going to go ahead and get this 8.5 out of 10. now one thing i do like about crossover culture at least from the last shoe that i reviewed are known for making some really good cushion and these are no different these are nice and soft also you guys are going to get a good amount of impact force protection upon jumping and landing and inside the shoe they're going to have a high rebound twitch foam which is like i said is going to give you guys that really good amount of impact force protection upon jumping and landing a little bit of spring and also you guys are going to get a really good amount of cushion to Towards the back of the foot even though some of you guys shouldn't be landing on the back of your foot or whatever the case may be but i think they added that just for some extra bit of protection for some of you guys that if you guys do have improper jumping mechanics or whatever the case may be if you land on the back of your heel which you should never you guys already know i'm really big on cushion that's my favorite aspect of a shoe and this does just that especially with it being nice and soft right here now on foot you guys are going to get a really good amount of impact force protection upon jumping and landing i felt that when i was doing euro steps dunking crossovers step backs whatever i was doing um going for the rebound and stuff like that jumping in the air and landing back down i felt that really good amount of impact force protection upon jumping and landing for the play styles i think this can fit pretty much any play style big guard slasher crafty because you guys are going to have that cushion output to protect you guys and you guys did a really good job inside the cushion setup i don't have anything negative to say this is a really good cushion setup also too i wanted to mention that some of you guys do hoop outside or your gyms are closed or you have to play outside if you were to take the shoe outside this is definitely going to give you that impact force protection that you need to hold you against asphalt so yeah this shoe does a really good performance cushion wise inside and a really good performance and cushion wise outside as well moving on to the traction i'm gonna go ahead and give these an eight out of ten when you guys are doing a squeak test standing there moving north and south and laterally you guys aren't gonna hear squeaking but when you guys are moving aggressively downhill or laterally you guys are then gonna hear squeaking The traction pattern for the shoe is a solid one and i don't know if you guys can see that it is going to attract some dust but it is going to do a good job of fighting it off one thing though i will tell you guys if your court is known to be very dusty or if the ac is off in your gym i would tell y'all not to wear these shoes because they're not going to last you you guys are going to do a lot of slipping but if you guys play on a court like me that's somewhat dusty you know to keep up with it on certain days and certain days it's not that bad but it's not that good either you guys can't wear this because the grip and bite is going to be there for you guys uh, that and have the confidence while you play so euro step spin step backs lateral movements attacking downhill deceleration moves you guys are going to be able to play like that and have that confidence moving on a somewhat dusty court and obviously if you guys play on a pristine court you know high level court then these are going to perform very great as well the traction pattern design is a very unique looking one but it does a very good job honestly in my opinion in this shoe be aggressive 
the aggressor is going to win in this traction pattern for this shoe so if you're attacking downhill decelerating step back side steps um aggressively attacking the basket doing your steps like that anything that's going to stop you and make you do another directional move this traction pattern is definitely going to benefit you now if you guys want to go ahead and take this outside the grooves are pretty strong so i think it is going to last you outside i wouldn't tell you guys to take it out a lot like i would tell you guys to take it out here and there in my honest opinion so the traction pattern for this shoe is very solid even though you don't hear that much squeaking on the initial squeak test this shoe is definitely going to hold you up with the grip and bite it's going to fight off that dust you guys are going to be, play, be able to perform confidently and last one on this we have the support and i'm going to give these an eight out of ten you guys are going to get a good amount of padding on the ankle bone and kelly's heel it's something that i like you guys are going to get a decent amount of padding inside the tongue but where this shoe is definitely going to strive at it's hugging around that ankle you guys don't even have to put it lace inside the extra hole if you want to you can for even more maximum security around the ankle but if you don't want to you don't have to because it is going to give you guys that good amount of support around the ankle and these dual straps here i did feel a little bit of something i'm not going to sit here and say they made the lockdown even better than what it was but i think the lockdown would have been solid without these little dual straps to the side so the support for this shoe i have no issues with it and i love that the fact that i can confidently play in the support and i can confidently play in the traction which is going to make for the best of both worlds especially crafty shifty whatever type of play style you are you guys are going to have that confidence support and traction wise and ending it off with the ranking of the crossover culture for tail and i hope i said that right i wanted to say it at the beginning of the video but i did not want to look like an ass and say the incorrect name but ending it off with the ranking i'm going to go ahead and give these a b plus now i don't know if you guys checked out my last video of the crossover culture of the sniper i think that was a b or b plus so what it lets me know that provide this shoe brand provides in consistency and also shout out crossover culture because i seen that you guys like i did to go sign Tony and Prince or Tony and Prince signing you guys and he's been wearing you guys shooting the NBA season I think that's a big accomplishment definitely big us for y'all and they are definitely making I'm telling you guys they are definitely making moves in this community if you guys haven't paid attention y'all might want to go ahead and start paying attention also I have the Instagram down below in my link if you guys want to go ahead and follow them the cushion aspect obviously is my favorite part about this shoe you guys at Crossover Culture making really good cushion it's soft responsive it's going to give you guys that impact force protection upon jumping and landing um, so I definitely appreciate that so cushion aspect you guys are killing it traction aspect i would like a little bit more some squeaking on the squeak test that doesn't always result in a shoe being better than other shoes in traction just because it's squeaking and non-squeaking it's about the grip and bite that it's going to hold and the positions that you guys are going to put yourself in so like i told you guys before attacking downhill decelerating step back side steps zero steps you guys are going to hear it when you guys are being aggressive and then you guys are you know decelerating and changing your movement and it's also going to hold you guys up on a somewhat dusty court crossover culture you guys made another bang up shoe another b plus i know soon Y'all are going to have that A minus, but for right now, you guys are doing a great job in the shoe community. I'm going to go ahead and get us out of here. I'm going to have Chauncey send this out. I'm going to see you on the next one. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. You got anything you want to add to it, Chauncey? What? Is that your end intro? Yeah, just the end intro. You got Thank you for guys watching Tate's video. See you next, next in Tate's video. Bye. <laughs>